Hello everyone. We are starting with a new module which is electrical circuit fundamentals for gate. This is the first lecture and in this module we are going to cover the numericals on the uncharged capacitor. So the question is the current flowing through the capacitor we have to find when the capacitor is subjected to this voltage. In order to find the solution first we have to find the equation of the voltage by using this waveform. Then after finding the equation of the voltage, we will differentiate with respect to time and finally we will plot the current waveform from the equations that we have got. The given waveform of the voltage can be converted into the three parts. The first part will be like this. Magnitude is 100 volts. So we will find the equation by using the basic equation where m is the slope which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. y2 value is 100 minus 0 upon 1 minus 0. So the slope to be 100. So y is equal to 100 x plus c. c is the y intercept. In order to find the y intercept 0 0.00 lies on the line. So we will put the values y is equal to 0, x is 0 plus c, so c comes out to be 0. After that we will write the complete equation y is equal to 100x plus c and c is 0, y is the voltage axis, x is the time axis, and this is our final equation. This is between 0 to 1. For the second equation we will consider this line, this is between 1 to 3. This magnitude is 100. This magnitude is minus 100. y is equal to mx plus c. m is a slope. The value of the slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. y2 value is this is y1, this is y2. minus 100 minus 100 upon 3 minus 1. So the slopes comes out to be 200 by 2 which is minus 100. The equation of the line will become y is equal to mx plus c, y is equal to minus 100x plus c. c is the y-intercept. In order to find the y-intercept, we will consider 0 0.20 lies on the line. Instead of using this point, you can take any point on this axis that will give you the y-intercept. Okay, So we will put the values y equals to 0 minus 100 x equals to 2 plus c, c comes out to be 200. So the equation will become now y is equal to minus 100 x plus 200. y is the voltage axis, x is the time axis which is between 1 to 3. Finally the equation of the line remaining is this line. This is between 3 to 4. This is minus 100. So slope will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. y2 is this is y1, this is y2 is 0 minus of minus 100 upon 4 minus 3. Slopes comes out to be 100. Okay. So y is equal to 100 x plus c. In order to find the y intercept, simply we will consider that 0 0.40 lies on the line. So we will put the value y equals to 0, s equals to 4 plus c, c will become minus 400. The equation will become y is equal to 100 x minus 400. y is the voltage axis, x will be the time axis minus 400. So this is the third equation of the line which is between 3 to 4. Now we are done with the voltage line. So we will collect all these equations here. Voltage was 100 T from 0 to 1. Minus 100 T plus 200 from 1 to 3. And 100 T minus 400 from 3 to 
these are the voltage equation now we simply differentiate this voltage equation with respect to time which shall give 100 because the differentiation of 100 t will be 100 differentiation of 100 t plus 200 will be minus 100 between 1 to 3 between 0 to 1 and finally the differentiation of 100 t minus 400 will be 100 3 to 4 these are the three equations that we got after the differentiation now i c of t is equal to c d v c of t by d t this is the equation now simply we have to multiply the equation with the capacitor well capacitor is of 100 microfarad and we'll multiply it with 100 minus 100 and 100 first 100 is from 0 to 1 second 100 is from 1 2 3 and third equation is from 3 to 4 i c of t after calculation will become 10 milliampere minus 10 milliampere and again 10 milliampere first 10 milliampere is from 0 to 1 second minus 10 milliampere will be from 1 to 3 and third milliampere will be from 3 to this is the final current equation. Now for plotting the current waveform, take one time axis, take one milliampere axis, take the point 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 from 0 to 1 the magnitude was 10 milliampere then the magnitude became minus 10 milliampere then from 3 to 4 again the magnitude was 10 milliampere so this is the final waveform that we got from the equation this waveform we got from the calculation you can also get this waveform by using the concept of signal line system we should know that integration of step is ramp so the derivative of ramp will become step as you can see clearly these are the ramp signal this is the increasing ramp this is the decreasing ramp this is again increasing ramp so if we try to plot the waveforms here for increasing ramp the value of the step is like this okay for decreasing ramp the derivative is minus and for again increasing time the derivative is positive this is 10 this is minus 10 milliampere axis time axis for in increasing ramp the step will be positive and for decreasing ramp this decreasing ramp the derivative will be negative and again the ramp is increasing the der derivative will be positive so by using two to three concept we can solve the same question which will be very useful when you are solving the gate numericals this forms the foundation for solving the further numerical for the gate this is the final waveform that we discussed here okay if you are understood this question then you can easily solve the next question which is an initially uncharged one microfarad capacitor has the current like this flowing through it then calculate the voltage across it at time is equal to 2 millisecond and here 5 milliseconds 2 and 5 milliseconds we have to calculate the value of the voltage now you can easily solve this equation by using the y is equal to mx plus c formula you can write the solution value in the comment section if not we, uh, we will discuss this question in details in the next lecture okay. thank you